Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a merry, merry Christmas. Now back to the daily grind. Today is December 27th. Um, as you guys saw in my videos, I was out and about in Aruba for a week with my family and it was a great, great trip. Love the island and we'll head back. Um, for the time that I was away, I had my store on vacation mode and uh, I know some people are curious if I still do sell when um, it's on vacation mode and believe it or not guys, I did over a grand uh, in a week and uh, I'm gonna show you here if I can turn this around. Look at that, $1,000 worth of inventory going out today. I think it's, I think it was just over a thousand, like $1,100. So uh, quite happy, quite happy with that, with our sales. And um, I'm gonna go thrifting today, first time since Christmas. I'm gonna try to hit a couple of thrift stores this morning. Uh, I've gotta go to Canada Post, drop off those packages and um, I will uh, show you guys if I find anything. But the first thing I wanna talk about today, guys, on December 19th, you would've got an email from uh, eBay, uh, and it was, um, they were, uh, they said on December, th sorry, on Thursday, December 19th, they sent you an incorrect message if you're a Canadian reseller. Um, the subject line read, information regarding your tax form 1099-K, this message was intended for U.S. base sellers only. Please disregard the message. Uh, yeah, the, in in the states, guys, what they do as soon as you hit X amount of sales uh, or so many items sold, uh, you get an automatic tax form. Uh, in Canada, it's not happening yet. Um, I've sent multiple emails to eBay to find out if it will happen down the road. Uh, they can't give me an answer. Uh, I guess they're working with the uh, Canadian government, uh, so it's coming one day. So all of you that don't pay taxes in Canada, uh, you will soon, or one day. When? We don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to load all this stuff up. I'm going to head down to a couple of thrift stores. If I find anything, as always, I will show you guys. Until then. Okay, guys, I'm back in the car, and uh, actually I got a return request uh, while I was in the, in the Value Village gentleman bought a um, actually my old all-in-one computer one of them I had at home uh, I factory restored it the windows and everything in it and I sold it to him in November he bought it November 10th he got it on November 14th I think so he's had it over a month and he wants to return it because he said it's not working properly it's too slow now those of you that sell on eBay you know that uh, I do not uh, offer refunds um, I uh, and I have referred back to the buyer protection program that eBay offers. And unfortunately, this gentleman or this person is over the 30 day guarantee time. So um, I contacted eBay and what they're going to do um, on the 1st or the 31st, I'm gonna to have to give them a call back. Uh, they're gonna settle in my favor. Finally, I hope we'll see what happens. And then they're gonna close the case. So uh, I'll let you know what happens there uh, once, uh, once we get that rectified. Anyways, back to the Value Village. I scored large guys, spent about 120 bucks, and I'm gonna do very, very well. When we get to the house, uh, I'm gonna show you what I found. Uh, some ama I was amazed to find all these items in one, uh, one thrift store. I've gotta head home um, because I gotta pick up Camera Girl 1. Uh, at 3 o'clock. It's 1.30 right now and um, when I do that uh, I will shoot the rest of the video and show you what I found. Until then. Okay guys we're back at the house and I want to show you what I got. Um, I got one, what do we got? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items I think. Sorry 14 items I think. So here we go. The first thing I got was this crane kids humidifier it's brand new never been used yes it's a humidifier for a kids room uh they make one for thomas the train and then they make one like this uh sells on amazon for just over 100 i paid 14 dollars for it or 13 no 12.99 i paid for it, i think yeah and everything i had a 20 off coupon and then i got these eight cars see them guys Classic cars, they're made by a company in France called 
Uh, I don't know if we can see the name there. I'm trying to rewrite it. Soul Bar or something like that. Um, I think I got six, five bucks in all of them. And um, I think I'm going to sell them as a lot for about $189.99 or best offer. Then I got one of these guys. I always tell you to look out for these weird, weird electrical panels. This is called Intermatic. This is a 24-hour uh Time delay, time switch. It's brand new, never used. Model number is T103. I think I paid $9.99. I'll get about $60 to $70 for this thing. Um, then I picked up a, uh, one of these. I've never seen these before. Boogie board, the original 8.5. It's actually you write on it instead of writing on paper. I paid $2.99. I think I'm going to put it for $29.99 or best offer. Um, I found one of these before, guys. This is sealed World of Warcraft Mega Blocks. Uh, they sell very well. Um, I think I got three or four bucks into it, and uh, I hope to get around $49.99 or best offer on that. Then I found another one of these. This is the second one I found, this Zoids. This is from Hasbro, discontinued. It's a motor for, motorized, like, um, I don't know, transformer or whatever you want to call it. This is the Ligger Zero X. Um, I think I got it for uh, $6.99, and I'm going to sell it anywhere from $79 to $89. It's brand new in the box. Packaging's never been opened. And then I took a chance on this, guys, here, this Blade Racer. It's made by a company called Dynatech Action, Inc. Um, it's all in there. I haven't taken it apart. It looks like it's been opened. Um, I, I got 10 bucks in this, and... Actually, that's what it looks like with the tubes. Uh, I think I got 10 bucks into it. I'm going to try to get about $59 or $69. There's a guy with the one in the mint box uh, sealed. They're getting, um, they're trying to get around uh, 200 bucks for it. So I don't know. I'm going to do some more investigating. But anyways, guys, that's what I found in my travels. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, that guy's trying to return a computer he bought over a month ago. I'll let you know how that works out uh, when I get info uh, when that thing closes, I think on Monday, today is Saturday, the 28th. Um, I shot most of this video yesterday, the 27th, just got home late. Anyways, guys, as always, please, if you like the video, big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And until next time, it's Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest.